Um, I grew up in um, South East London. I used to I used to play sports and the regular things that people did. I used to go play football, you know, um, you know, basketball. I was involved in all the sports. I wasn't really great at any of them. I was good, but I like, never stood out at any of them apart from rugby. And these times I, I was I was skinny, but shredded. So I thought I was big. With my brother con like constantly telling me you're skinny, you're skinny, I decided to you know lift some weights. And what triggered it for me was going to college. And there was one particular guy, and this guy, he basically had a like, muscular physique. And I, I remember asking him, like, how'd you get like that? And he said, you know, I trained at home. That same day, I went to a local um, department store. I went there and I just got some um, ceramic, um, ceramic weights. I took those weights and that same day I had my first session. And it will sound cliche if I say it, but literally it was from that first session that I knew it was something I wanted to do. The pump was amazing. And then the funny thing was, I wanted to do it as often as I could. And the funny thing is, you know how you want to feel that pump all the time? That's what I was just chasing. So, and I didn't realize that, you know, you train and then you leave it for a day and you come back another day. Now, the way I was doing it was I'll, I'll train and then maybe go do something else, come back, train. <laughs> that is what I did daily, you know, daily. And I loved it from, from back then. Yeah, it was when his friend came down and said, your brother's getting big, you know. But that influenced me because it, you know, it was the first time anyone had acknowledged what I was doing. And, 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 and before that, it was just about, just about the feeling, you know, this, this feels great. I love doing this because it feels great. And that's the thing I try to get through to people. You can train throughout anything, you know? So, you know, when people say, oh, I don't have time or, you know, like um, I can't fit it in with my school life. I did it all, you know, you know, I went to school and studied and worked and trained. It got to a point where uh, things were really taking off for me. So um, I made that jump and, and, and I left, I left work. And it's funny because it was almost immediately as I left, it just kicked off like that. There's this belief that I have that you can, you can have anything if you put, put the work into it. And it sounds so you know, basic, but that, that I, I truly believe that. That's what drives me daily because I've got these, these goals that I want and I know I'm gonna make them. I, I know I'm gonna reach them, 100%. And it's just, it's just stepping stones, stepping stones. So what motivates me is just that knowledge that you can work at something and make it happen. It's a secret that people don't know. You can do anything you want to. If you wanna do something, just, just, just give it everything. Believe in it. That belief isn't just when things are going well. I think it's even most important when things are going really going bad. You can't forget what you're capable of and what you believe you can achieve. I was down and didn't have a job and um, you know, in, in, in a pretty rubbish situation. You know, I was staying. Um, I, was, I was on my brother's sofa. You know. Um, you know, didn't have a job and was trying hard to get one. And you know, you can you can get down, you can get so down, and you might feel on your own as well. Like you know, not everyone has it. Luckily, I had my brother. You know, but um, some people don't have anyone. You know, what happened was my brother basically one day when um, I was really feeling feeling down, and he just only he didn't say much, but just basically said to me, "Please don't think that because this is your situation now, that this is all it's going to be." And it just gave me a boost, you know. So even though things weren't going well and there was nothing really on the horizon, that just said, okay, just stay, stay, stay positive. Just stay positive because you can turn it around. I did um, an expo. Now, the only thing that I remember from the whole expo that stood out was the one guy who told me he watched that video when he was in, I think a worse situation than I was. And he said that that, that, that helped him. He said, he said he just held on to that. He said before that, you know, he, he didn't know what he was going to do, but that just said to him, keep going. And that simple thing of keep going can, can do, do wonders with people, you know? And then uh, the, coincidentally, I then saw him at another expo and his story was completely different. You know, he'd, 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 he'd um, he, at the time he didn't have a job. He, he, I think he was, I think he was actually homeless. I think he told me he was homeless. And now he was like, oh, I'm working for, I can't remember the company and things have, have picked up. And that just, like that's bigger than anything, that's bigger than any endorsement, any business venture, anything. That there, you know, imagine changing someone's life like that. That fuels me more than anything, more than anything, you know, because I think we should all, you know, be wanting to help others. 
that gives me life, man. That, 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 gives, that gives me energy, like just, just knowing that. And it definitely fuels me because I know how I feel when I hear that. You know, I, I, I just like, I can't even, when, when I hear things, I can't even like, get my words out. That's how passionate I get, you know? So it's something that I'm gonna like continue to try and do. No matter how successful or whatever happens, always try and bring other people up, you know? Cause I think that's what it's all about, you know? Simeon Panda, I am dedicated.